Hello everyone, Rat here from Rat Kutarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Moon and Rising Weekly Tarot Reading for September 3rd to September 9th, 2018 and the reading will be Tarot and Lenormand as well So while I'm shuffling, uh, just to remind you in case you're interested in a private reading um, all that you need to know is my website listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find the full list of my services and as well their pricings. So that being said, going to the tarot spread first for Cancer here. The first position will show us Cancer's topic for the week. Second position represents the uh, core of the situation here. Third position is about the challenges Cancers needs to cope with. And the last position, um, this is going to be the guidance that, you know, Taro has for Cancer for the week. Uh, so we do have the Queen of Swords as a uh, topic of the week. So this week is it will be about obtaining information, researching something or learning uh, for your behalf how to, how to do a certain job or how to align yourself with with your relationship so it does depend on your personal situation we will vary at how this card manifests uh, in your mm, in your daily environment what I'm trying to say here is that the uh, Queen of Swords stands for that you have learned your lesson all right and uh, right now you are either searching finding or trying to make the means necessary in order to push your things through and this is what the week is going to be all about you know finding those means or the approach you need in order to push your undertaking through either into your career or either into your relationship most likely provoked through um, let's say a poignant experience with a similar situation from the past because this is the strength of the Queen of Swords you know she had a uh, failure most likely in the past in a similar situation she resigned about it she learned from it and right now as she face um, <clears throat> same kind of predicament now she knows how she needs to approach the situation so she can prevail and this is you cancers that week approaching that part that kind of a, a similar situation from a different angle this this time pre prepared this time forewarned this one is forearmed and this time around it is likely that uh, you will be able to pull it through for a change for the last time so uh, that card however again asks you to uh, research a little bit more so kind of like obtaining information and finding out what the real cause and the real reason should you face any predicaments for the for the duration of the week um, <clears throat> are the reasons I mean or uh, if you are trying to push something through it will be beneficial for you you know to obtain information for the third parties members you know or for example what your person of interest likes or what your boss expects from you etc etc so it's all about being aware for uh, this week and the core of the situation here that will be the Sun card and probably something either was promised to you or you know um, or it will be set to you or it will be given given to you as a hint that should you be able to push this undertaking through either with the person of interest partner in uh, one relationship friend or in your career you know then things are gonna get very good and now the sun card especially career-wise promises more uh, pro promises monetary success next to the queen of swords should that be regarding a a broken relationship could speak for uh, reconciliation especially having the sun because the sun is that card where the opposite parties are reaching a common ground and achieving peace in between one another so it's a it's a kind of a, a resolution here that you're going to reach with a, a different party members 
which are involved into your situations not to mention that as soon as you kind of find out the whole information you require you will be able to push your uh, or kind of like to um, yeah to push your situation in its natural progress here which is going to go into a positive way as well not to mention that the, the information itself is going to ease your uh, ease your thoughts and uh, will encourage you to proceed with um, which are undertaking so for some of you as well it could be regarding a certain revelations that something is truly worth it to be pushed forward then we do have the next card which is the challenges that one needs to overcome here that will be the hierophant card now again it very uh, it variates about your uh, personal situation because the hierophant card it is very different if it is about you know your um, a business field or your romantic relationship it's kind of, it kind of has a very different manifestation one of the manifestations about the hierophant is regarding the trust so you kind of like try to be aware of what is going on around you therefore you ask a, a little bit uncomfortable questions and people are kind of being nervous people are kind of been um looking at you with not very trustful eye you know seeing you slinking around trying to kind of like you know see what is behind the curtain etc etc and that will be a challenge for you you know do your thing find the information you require cancers without you know breaking breaking up the trust that people has in you or from another hand that could be a uh, not immediately uh, not immediately reaching up a, a lucrative results of your undertaking here uh, as this week remember is going to be about information it's not going to be about making progress it will be about setting yourself in the mindset of the progress which will probably will be established in the next couple of weeks or maybe a month and that may kind of like aggravate you that you will not have immediate results of your labor here because the hierophant sits about that you know that you work you do your job but the money doesn't come it is because they will come further into the future okay because the hierophant sits for making the job not for the money but for the job itself when it comes to uh, either a career or you know undertakings into your friendship circle etc etc so it's the ordinary way it's the usual way how the things uh, the most uh, um, conventional way so you first do the job then you get paid you know you don't get paid uh, for the duration of your kind of like manifestation of the undertaking and the last card that we do have is going to be the guidance that you should follow now we do have the two of cups and the two of cups as a guidance card is about making contact and about sharing experience either positive or a negative one and under sharing i mean that you have to aim to share your good fortune but as well if you're feeling not very well you know you you're not feel you're feeling depressed for example or you're feeling despondent as well it will be beneficial for you to share those feelings with trusted companions you know uh, people with which are always there for you people which are supporting you etc etc because when it comes to the guidance this card stands as the uh, <clears throat> shared happiness is doubled happiness shared pain is how the pain and also this card especially if you are chasing someone of interest here to create a romantic relationship then uh, uh, I will give you a full example of what that reading could mean because this card is very strong um, has a very strong manifestation if it is about that in in your case so um here what we do what we do have with the queen of swords is that you're going to find out a certain information about this person which is going to seriously thrill you but the very process of you obtaining information probably asking a common friend about him or about her that person will realize or kind of like will come to their knowledge that you are asking behind their back for a certain um, properties of their character for example therefore they may become a little bit more sus suspicious regarding you now we do have the hierophant here you know and uh, that's why you have to um, it will be um, advisable for you to regain back that trust as showing yourself open putting your pride proud proud pride excuse me and shyness on the shelf and approach them with you know 
open heart should I say that way for a lack of a better term and share either your good fortune or even your bad fortune in other words show to that person that you are not afraid to kind of like you know share your daily routine should I say that way with them so pretty much that was the tarot reading for you cancers and now let's see what the Lenormand has to say as in an event that you may want to um, look forward to or evade now it depends what the cards are going to be one second So the first one that is going to be the mountain, which uh, <clears throat> stands for uh, delays, problems or rather predicaments and a round way, so not the straight path forward but you're taking the, uh, the long path um, aside. Then we do have the letter, which pretty much sits for an email or a letter. So delay with a letter on an email that we do have, which uh, we have the stork. Um, and that speaks for either a, um, a delivery or um, how can I place it or a, a new beginning. Because the storks are associated with spring and spring is about the new beginnings. So yeah, there will be a delay about a um, with a letter or an email that you may are expecting uh, with the delivery of it, all right? Because that speaks for a delivery. So you have expected it to come this week, but it did not deliver, or that that email or this um, this letter will come, but it will notify you that there is a, a delays in a certain undertaking, in a certain agenda, or in a certain new beginning, and most likely this will be the reason why you will have to make uh, to reconnoiter here, to make your research, to gather up any information why this is happening. But don't you worry guys, I mean this is just the delays, it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. Maybe you have to take another part, you don't have to go through the mountain, but rather you need to find that, um, that pathway which is less stressful, should I say, and uh, much more easy to be walked on. So that being said, Cancers, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading and I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, all that you need to know is my website listed down below in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.